Laptop buying tips is what we're going to talk about today. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Day. This is Mike at MSL Computer Service. Welcome to the channel. Let's get right into it. Since it's Christmas, people are going to be buying laptops. Now, there's some important things to remember when buying a laptop. If you're going to purchase a home laptop, it can be confusing uh, sometimes. Frightening experience below is I'm going to tell you a different tips which you should consider to when purchasing a laptop computer What to look for when purchasing a computer? It is likely that you are going to have a general idea of what you may like in the computer or how you would like to configure the computer There's some different variations you must consider Battery usage is very important. Determine how long the battery is expected to last under normal use. Look for a laptop that has long battery life. Today's laptops vary. Some of them have longer life than others. Many manufacturers will indicate a battery usage time, but this may be at the lowest possible setting. Ensure that the manufacturer clarifies what the standard battery usage life is when using a portable laptop in all power modes. Next is the display. All portable computers come with a display while it's almost possible to hook up an external monitor. When traveling with a laptop, the display is an important consideration. When looking at the display, ensure it is large enough for your needs. An easy method to reducing the cost of the laptop is to reduce the size of the screen. Smaller screens on laptops are cheaper in price and that's a consideration. Unless the price is an important consideration, I suggest that you purchase a laptop with at least a 14 or a 15 inch screen. Drives. Drives are sometimes overlooked when considering a portable computer, but can be an important consideration. Portable computers can come with various drive configurations. For example, one drive bay, which is CD-ROM, make sure you get, a, in my opinion, I would get a DVD-RW, make sure it's a rewritable in case you want to save information offline. So get a DVD-RW drive. Some laptops don't come with a drive, so be very careful when you're looking for a laptop because if you want to install discs um, you have to have to get an external DVD player in order to inst install a CD or a DVD disc program to your laptop but if you have a built-in DVD drive well, all you have to do is put it in the drive and then you're good and a hard drive make sure you get a hard drive that is big enough the newer computers come with like one terabyte hard drives a one terabyte hard drive is a very good, a decent sized hard drive. If you're planning on saving a lot of videos, let's say, you can save everything to a one terabyte hard drive. And I would recommend that if you do save a lot of information to a hard drive, you consider getting an external hard drive or burning it, CDs, and taking a lot of information off the computer, offline. The computer will run faster and better without as much information on it. The more information you have on the hard drive, the more things you add to the hard drive, the slower the computer will run in time once you, once you load it up with a lot of stuff. And a lock, that's something that is considered in the industry standard now. Some computers come with a lock. Does it include a locking system? If yes, what locking system is included? This can be important for users who are on the road. Next is memory. Memory is and always has been an important consideration when looking at purchasing a laptop. Determine the amount of memory included in the computer as well as verify if the memory can be upgraded in the future. The more memory the computer has, the more efficient the computer is capable of running. Network card. Most network cards on laptops are built in and is required if you're going to plug it in. Let's say um, you're at a place where they have a wireless router 
and you could plug it in directly. You'll get a better connection if you have a network card. All laptops have network cards these days, but that's something to consider. And also, very important factor is the processor. What processor is this laptop that I'm looking for? And it's a very important consideration because today with multiple CPU processor manufacturers, it may be more confusing as well as cost effective to look at different processors available. Now, the best processor that you can get today is an i7 Intel processor. And I would recommend if you can afford it to get an i5 or an i7 Intel processor. Though that is really a good processor. i7 is the latest and it's, it will be able to do a lot of things. And sound. When purchasing a laptop, the majority of computers will find the most standard sound cards will fit their needs. However, some users might enjoy purchasing more advanced sound cards that will increase the amount of speaker that you can be used in some games and programs and the sound and quality and capability of the laptop. So if you're planning on doing like surround sound on your laptop and using it sort of like a desktop, make sure you get a laptop that has better sound card in it. Now weight is another consideration and when considering a portable as the computer will be carried, the lighter the portable computer the more easy it will be to carry. So consider that if you travel, you know, you don't want to have this big bulky thing, you know, to drag along with you. Make sure the weight is something that you can pick up and carry around. Another very important factor is the video card. They're becoming an extremely important factor when purchasing a computer. Well, this may surprise some. A video card can make or break a computer when it comes to playing games on the computer. Most games today require additional video, video memory as well as special video modes such as OpenGL with a video card memory as well as special video modes uh, the computer will be unable to play these games. In addition, the advance in video cards can dr dramatic dramatically increase the user's enjoyment of the games being played. So basically what it means is if you're going to use the computer for gaming, make sure you get a high-end video card in your laptop because the high-end games on a basic laptop will run a lot slower, the lag, to get the full functionality out of using your laptop as a gaming laptop, you need a high-end video card. So make sure you get a very good video card in your laptop, it's for gaming. And manufacturers are also a, a consideration. You Sometimes you'll hear good and bad news about a manufacturer. Um, these stories are basically based on user experience. Well, it may be true that the user had a bad or terrible experience with the computer. All computer manufacturers have had users who had bad experience and there is no such thing as a bad or perfect computer manufacturer. And I would suggest the ones that I recommend personally are Asus and also Dell is a very good one. And Toshiba has been the leader in laptops for probably the last four or five years. Toshiba laptops are very uh, very reliable. So look at the laptop in terms of, okay, HP is very good, Dells are very good, Toshiba is very good, Asus now makes laptops, that's A-S-U-S, they are pretty good. So those are four manufacturers that you uh, should consider when looking for a laptop. And also add-ons is a consideration too. Like you want to make sure you have slots for camera cards, uh, PC cards, printers, you know, you enough USBs for your printer and your scanner and things like that. So a laptop, most laptops will come with a couple of USBs connections. Try to get one with more than two, four, or some of them come with, with six of them. And those are really good to have. So these are my tips 
And when you buy your laptop, write these down on paper. When you go into the store, use these tips for consideration when you're buying a laptop. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Watch my videos. All my videos are very helpful for computer repair and computer knowledge. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them below. I'll answer all your questions.